fellas. We doing that box body daily life. The rain's let up a little bit, but it's uh, been a little treacherous driving over the school and our compound tires. We making it We're just about there. We work over in that little hangar on the other side of the big one. All right, we'll catch you next update for the pickup. Later. Morning, fellas. So, uh, it's Saturday, so that means I get to work on a truck. The, uh, I put, got the engine in the truck, got all the, all but one of the bolts in, uh, for the motor mounts, and one was giving me fits. So, finally got to looking at it this morning, and, uh, Clearly the motor mount is hitting the block so it won't get over enough to line up. Let me show you what it uh, looks like. Right there, made in China. But when this is on like so, that hits the block right up here at that corner. And it's just enough that the, uh, the hole won't line up. So I'm going to take an... Uh, that little corner right there, I'm going to cut that off. Bound to go faster because it's going to be lighter. And it seems how I got this open. This is the engine that was in a trooper car. That mint. Put that back in there and run her again. Ha. So anyway, I'm going to get this hacked off and show you what it looks like after. Alright guys, so uh, we're making some progress here. got the... Air conditioner and power steering mounted, got the fuel rail on, injectors on, fuel lines hooked up, the harness is almost ready to go on. Started working on the header a little bit. So what I did, uh, I cut that, sectioned it, a uh, section, I didn't cut a section out, I just cut it most of the way around and then put a screwdriver in there, spread it out, and uh, got it kind of tacked right now, so I'm going to Kind of put it back on again. <laughs> this on and off of this thing is getting boring, but that's what's got to happen. Uh, on my last video, I mentioned how this pipe coming out of here was hitting the insulator plate and uh, transmission. I should have mocked this up before and just used a uh, bell housing from a from a T5. Uh, but I thought I could just notch, put a little dent in the pipe. I decided not to do that because I didn't want it, like doing it that way. And then Anthony uh, Tatum, the guy who's got a, a pin, 347 Pinto, mentioned doing this. And I was like, yeah, that's right. Because every time I get uh, X pipe put on my BBK headers, the long tubes on a car, the exhaust guy does this to get a straight shot because the passenger side, I think, kind of comes in like so at an angle and he likes to have the pipes go straight so that's what he does essentially the same thing on uh, the BBK headers so I put a little tack on each side to make sure it holds its position I'll put this on again put the pipe on make sure it's gonna clear and then I'll uh, this down here I can fill in with the welder and this part it's a little big I don't want to booger weld all that so I'll put a I got a piece of metal I can make for a patch, and I'll weld that in. That will probably take the most of the afternoon. So, got to get to it. All right, catch the next one. All right, guys. So, uh, <laughs> I did get this done. It's still light out. Um, this turned out really nice right there. Fused the metal together well. Over here, uh, not so much, but it's, mechanically it's not going to come apart. Hopefully it's not got any leaks in there. I shine the light in there. I can't see any light trying to get out, so I just got to put that on. I tried to put the upper on after getting the harness on and all that, but the back of the bottom side of the intake hits the fuel pressure regulator, so... Uh, I think on the van, obviously the hoses are oriented a little different on it, but I think the plenum is over on this side. And uh, I want to have my air filter over here. I've got the solenoid on, the terminal, 
the fuse for the cable going to the back. I got the wire for the alternator all done up. So I was hoping to have the air filter over here instead of over here laying on top of the uh, wire harness and all that stuff. So and the dipstick's right there. So I'm gonna do is take the harness or the fuel lines back off again. Well, actually not again because I've only put it on one time, but again, we're a couple steps forward and one back. So uh, I'll put the stock fuel pressure regulator on there and just hope I can tune it with a little finger banging on the keyboards. All right, so I'm gonna get this back on and then start on that and hopefully get the intake on there tonight and then start hooking up all the vacuum whacking lines and all that and maybe just maybe we'll get a little heat in the pipes tomorrow all right we'll catch you then later all right guys no good news today uh, this is now monday night i didn't get a chance to work on this yesterday i had to go over and help brandon with a getting a tv set up but uh it's almost there i still got to get a little battery cables to run over there i can just put the battery on a stool next to the truck and get it power to it so i can run the fuel pump and make sure nothing leaks make sure all the o-rings are good and uh then i can put the upper on and then i can put the plugs in and crank it blah 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 and I got to refab the mount for the coil because it's like heinous. It sticks out, holds it up like right up here. So I want to kind of get the distributor in and see how much room I got. I want to mount the coil like straight up and down because that's supposedly better for them. Uh, got the fan controller on. I just haven't wired it. It's like 630 at night. And luckily last week in september so the heat index is down to 91 right now so that's something to be thankful for right so anyway no heat in the pipes today tomorrow maybe i doubt it i gotta work and plus we got the storm coming in so i gotta kind of get ready for that too so i'm gonna wrap this up today get it put up on the internet so you can be bored to tears with a slow progress like i am all right, man. Appreciate y'all. We'll talk to you in the next one.